Bitcoin, the new currency that is surely taking over the world, did not happen overnight. And even more exciting is the story of its invention and the anonymous creator behind it. Bitcoin inventions also left many questions unanswered. Hence, today we are going to tell you all about the story of the invention of Bitcoin and why Satoshi Nakamoto, the guy who only just wrote 30,000 lines of code for Bitcoin compared to 50 million lines of code for Windows and shocked the government across the world, stayed anonymous. Why did he do that? Stay tuned to find that out. For those who don't really know what a Bitcoin is, Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency, a digital asset designed to act as a medium of exchange that uses cryptography to monitor its development and management, rather than relying on central authorities. It was created and introduced by the pseudonymous Satoshi Nakamoto, who combined many existing ideas from the cyberpunk group. Over the course of Bitcoin's history, it has experienced rapid development to become a global currency both on and offline. Starting in the mid-2010, several companies started adopting Bitcoin in addition to conventional currencies. However, before the introduction of Bitcoin, a range of digital cash innovations were already in operation, beginning with the issuer-based eCash protocols by both David Chaum and Stefan Brands. The initial idea of having a chance of actually discovering solutions to computational problems and giving it meaning was first suggested by the cryptographers Cynthia Dwork and Moni Nior in 1992. Adam Black, who created HashCash, a proof-of-work scheme for spam control in 1997, independently rediscovered the concept. The first ideas for distributing cryptocurrencies focusing on digital scarcity were Wei Dai's B-Money and Nick Zabo's BitGold. Hal Finney has developed reusable proof-of-work RPOW using HashCash as proof of the working algorithm. The fun fact, however, is that little is known to this day about the creator of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto. In 2009, Satoshi bought us a catalyst for all cryptocurrencies, as well as its underlying revolutionary technology, blockchain. That's why Satoshi is revered in the cryptocurrency community. Yet Satoshi remains an enigma. No one knows his real identity. Why is that so? Here are four theories that may satisfy your curiosity. To decentralize the creation of Bitcoin. Although it has been revealed that the Bitcoins from Satoshi era are moving from time to time, the amount of Bitcoins moved is very limited, particularly when there are rumors that Satoshi has a 1 million BTC. Satoshi decided to set up Bitcoin independently of third parties and governments. Bitcoin's founding philosophy is an electronic payment system based on cryptographic evidence that allows two people to deal directly with each other without the need for a third party. Given Satoshi's intention here, it is a completely reasonable decision to remain anonymous, such that Bitcoin remains a genuinely decentralized entity. The mastermind is not one, but many. Generally, in the cryptocurrency world, it has been reported that a single person has created billions of dollars worth of cryptocurrency and is hiding all traces. While Satoshi was said to be a 37-year-old Japanese man, Bitcoin's original white paper was written in perfect English, and his email address allegedly came from a German provider. With these details in mind, some people think of Bitcoin as a joint effort rather than a standalone initiative. The invention of Bitcoin has influenced both the economy and computer programming, and many now assume that the leading cryptocurrency cannot be designed by a single mind. Personal security One of the reasons why Satoshi remained anonymous is the prospect of state officials coming after him. Bitcoin may be a popular cryptocurrency project as we all know it today, but it still has its downsides, as it is an alternative to government money. For example, in 2011, Bernard von Nothaus was found guilty of keeping and selling his private currency, the Liberty Dollar. The same thing could happen to Satoshi Nakamoto. Governments also do not like the presence of challenges to their sovereignty and monetary policy. And while they cannot outlaw Bitcoin, there could be life-threatening dangers to its founder. CIA Conspiracies Okay, this one is an exceptionally interesting theory. If you're the type who looks forward to conspiracy theories, this one is definitely for you. Some say that Satoshi Nakamoto is in fact a member of the Central Intelligence Agency. According to the CIA project, Satoshi Nakamoto translates to Central Intelligence, and the fact that nobody really knows who Nakamoto was is a telling sign that Bitcoin was created by intelligence professionals. If Bitcoin was actually designed by an intelligence agency, we may never be privy to the true identity of Satoshi Nakamoto. As interesting as these theories may sound, there are a few traces of who he or she might actually be. Well, before we get into that, here's a little history on how Bitcoin actually came into existence. Bitcoin first entered the public domain in October 2008, when someone calling himself Satoshi Nakamoto sent a paper called Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system to an obscure cypherpunk email list. 
A small group of cryptographers discussed the document, but few believed it had any chance of success. On the 3rd of January 2009, Nakamoto launched the Bitcoin network by mining the first block of the ledger. He inserted the text in the first block. The Times 03 forward slash Jan forward slash 2009 Chancellor on brink of second bailout for banks. This was an allusion to the global financial crisis at the time. In the months that followed Nakamoto and the coder called Hal Finney, they started ironing out kinks and fixing bugs in what was a groundbreaking idea, the first decentralized digital currency, Bitcoin. Initially, queries regarding Bitcoin were answered online by the anonymous Satoshi Nakamoto, but it is important to note that there is no record of a programmer by the name of Satoshi Nakamoto before 2008. In addition, both the email address and website used could not be tracked back to any one source. It was, after all, a plan very keenly laid out and put into action. There have been many attempts to find out who the creator of this new currency is, and many people have been suspected in the past. The New Yorker investigation brought together at least two possible candidates, Michael Clear and Vili Ledonvita. Quick Company's investigation presented circumstantial evidence linking the encrypted patent application filed by Neil King, Vladimir Oxman, and Charles Bry on the 15th of August 2008, and the domain name Bitcoin.org, which was registered 72 hours later. The patent application number 201000042841 contained a Bitcoin-like networking and encryption technology, and the textual analysis revealed that the phrase computationally impractical to reverse appeared in both the patent application and the Bitcoin white paper. All three inventors expressly declined to be Satoshi Nakamoto. In May 2013, Ted Nelson speculated that Japanese mathematician Shinichi Mokizuki was Satoshi Nakamoto. Later in 2013, Israeli researchers Dorit Ron and Adi Shamir pointed to the Silk Road-linked Ross William Ulbricht as the potential person behind the cover. The two researchers based their suspicion on an analysis of the Bitcoin transaction network. However, none of them could be confirmed as Satoshi Nakamoto. Before you go, what if we told you that there's a very interesting conspiracy theory revolving around the subject of Bitcoin? There are a few and we'll tell you all about the cool ones. According to this theory, governments around the world are secretly buying up all of the Bitcoins in the world and there has been an uptick in crypto confiscation. These confiscations have led to some serious funding boosts for the countries involved. There is a list of countries including the US, which isn't officially storing BTC, but has made millions from selling confiscated coins. But you never know if it is valid enough or not. Another very interesting side of the picture suggests that the National Security Agency, NSA, has developed the SHA-256 algorithm, which is the mathematical protocol through which the BTC proof-of-work mechanism operates. This hypothesis emerged back in 2013, after the revelations that the NSA is spying, or at least has the potential to spy, on any mobile web operation via the built-in backdoor. Believers in this theory believe that it is possible for the NSA to have a similar backdoor algorithm built in the SHA-256 protocol. Would that be cool or scary? But hey, SHA-256 is an open algorithm that the best cryptographers in the world have examined for over 17 years without discovering flaws, so don't worry.